Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and my messy bun. I just got home from a very long shift at work and I'm in my Walmart Christmas jammies, but I needed to do an emergency video because I am bringing to you today a brand new vendor to me that is not just a wax vendor, but also a bath and body vendor as well. And their aesthetic is so cute. The pharmacist's daughter. Look how cute that script is. So they have an Etsy page. It's a mom and daughter um, co-owned company. Let me tell you a little bit about um, their information on this card here. Um, so it's Kim and Ainsley Holcomb. Um, we are based out of Charleston, South Carolina, offering a range of affordable body care products, homemade for both men and women. Our current product range includes handmade cold process method soaps, lotions, body butters, lip balms, emulsified sugar scrubs, perfume sticks, beard balm, and an assortment of, and an assortment of fragrances. We use only the most high quality skin loving ingredients free of any phthalates or parabens, as well as being vegan and cruelty free. This allows us to deliver rich in lather soaps, nourishing lotions that aren't tacky to the skin and hydrating body butters that won't leave you feeling greasy. And there's just a little story at the bottom here that says the journey to the pharmacist's daughter started when Ainsley was diagnosed with chronic migraines at the age of 12. When all treatments were failing, we started experimenting with aromatherapy and essential oils and we reached a breakthrough. Since then, we have combined creativity and passions to ensure gentle yet lasting fragrances and quality that would keep your skin longing for more. We couldn't be more proud of the work we put into ensuring you enjoy our products as much as we do. So that is a super cool story. And it's cool because they first started making it for themselves. So they know it works like they had a testimony first before um, making it for others. So they have their... It looks like there's a Facebook page here, which I need to clearly go join. Um, and they also have Instagram, which I've put on my Instagram account already. If you want to see um, that post and go through the link there. They're also on Pinterest at the pharmacist daughter. Um, their IG, by the way, is the pharmacist daughter soap. And they have a, the pharmacist daughter dot com also. So I thought that was really, really cool. Now they reached out to me um, to see if I'd like to honestly review some of their wax. They also have tons of body care, obviously, but they sent me a Christmas, 12 days of Christmas Advent wax melt calendar. I'm so excited. Um, I know that some other people on Instagram, because I saw a couple of people um, have gotten some of their body care and I think I'll probably order some of their body care to give it a try as well. But I opened up all of my little advents because there's still time to order it. And I don't want to ruin the days, like you knowing which one you're going to open. Um, I have, I opened them all so I can tell you how I think they smell, but then you won't know which one's coming on which day, if that makes sense. And let me tell you this whole, these wax pieces are huge. Let me tell you the price. So the regular price of all 12 of these melts, which they're way more than a one melt. Let me, you'll see in a second is only $35, but it's on sale for the next 24 hours for $31.50. It's 10% off. It is a soy wax uh, from what I got on the website. They also have a 12 days of scent miss uh, Christmas advent, which is for their body care. Um, and it's $75 on sale for $67.50. I know that might sound a little bit pricey, but under the description, a lot of them are full priced products. So you're getting 12 days of some of them full price products for $75. So those are still available. Um, they're still available to get to you by Christmas. So go ahead and check them out, but let's get started into the wax melts because you guys know the actual scent and how they make us feel is the most important thing to me. So like I said, these, I've taken them. Let me just show you one of the examples. Look at the bags they come in. So these really cute little um, brown paper bags with the dates and a little, um, is it the mortar and pestle, the pharmacy symbol? Love it. So every single melt came in one of these little bags, but I've opened them once again so that I don't uh, spoil which day you might open it on. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of grab for them and go through it. So this first one and these labels, you guys are so cute. It has the pour date the notes, um, and the name of the melt and the brand on here. So this first one was poured, um, October 23rd of this year. 
This one is called Yule Log, and it's lavender, tea cakes, and toasted marshmallow. You guys know I'm going to love this one. Look at this label. Sorry, it's kind of shiny because of my ring light. It's just so, like, old school-y. I love it. Um, but look at how big this melt is. Like, this is way bigger than one melt. I could easily put this in three to four of my... Oh, my goodness. My melters. Holy cow. Okay, this is that... I don't want to talk about another vendor, but... If you guys know the lavender I talk about on my IG all the time that I really like. Oh, whoa. Wow. I would never think to melt or to blend tea and cakes with lavender. But the toasted marshmallow is absolutely in there too. Wow. Okay. Definitely lavender comes off first and then tea and cakes, but then also toasted marshmallow. That is really, really nice. Um... And I will be, look how cute that little ornament is. I will be melting these 12 days. So starting December 13th, all the way to December 25th and doing little IG, um, sorry. I have lost some weight this year and everything's a little bit big on me. So sorry if that's going a little bit low. Um, anyways, I will be doing <coughs> little mini uh, melt reviews. As you guys know, I always do. So I will let you know the strength of these, how, you know, how long they last and everything I feel about them. But that, oh, so you guys know I love tea and cakes and I'm a huge lavender lover. So I'm so glad I started off with that one because wow. And it smells really strong. I mean, this is probably two ounces, I'd say. So that's awesome. That's just for one day. Okay, the next one is some smaller melts, but you get more of them. So this was, I think this is all just poured October 23rd. So I won't keep saying that. But this is Cranberry Collins. And the notes are actually not on this one. Okay, so it's a bunch of little shapes, but I'm going to pull them out to show you because this is all one day and this is, there's five little pieces in this one. So in this little bag, there is this gorgeous, these are really detailed wax melts. Um, you got a tree, you got a little Christmas light, another Christmas light and a gift and a little, another little gift. So that's just for one day, all those melts. Okay, let's give it a sniff. So Cranberry Collins, it's tart cranberry. It sounds like there's citrus in there. It smells very festive. Oh, what is it that is in there? There's It's cranberry and citrus and maybe tea. Like it smells like a festive holiday drink. Yeah, it's not, it is not effervescent, but it smells like you'd imagine an effervescent drink, if that makes sense. Yeah, that smells really good. And I just love this tree. Look at that star on the top too. It just seems like it's really detailed for a little teeny wax melt. Yeah, that one smells really good. Very holiday festive. Okay, look at the size of this next melt. This is crazy. Okay, this next one is called Baby It's Cold Outside. This is Coffee House. Ooh, you're talking to me. Pie crust and sweet and creamy. Okay, look at this melt, you guys. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. Look at this pine cone. This is probably, I mean, I could be off, but this is probably three ounces or three point something ounces. Okay, this is the coffee oil I like. Oh my gosh. Okay, baby, it's cold outside. That coffee is so roasty toasty not that acidic I know some people think that those acidic coffee oils they smell kind of like tires and I understand what they mean this is not that it's that very warm roasty oh my gosh okay and pie crust and sweet and creamy the reason why I really appreciate this is I I've talked before about coffee blends I like them to be coffee forward and this is coffee forward but there is enough sweetness in it. Sorry, my kids are loud out there. I have the door shut. There's enough sweetness in it that it rounds it out, but it's not a straight up bakery coffee scent by any means. This smells so good. I have been craving coffee scents lately. Oh my gosh, that just smells like a warm coffee house coming in from the cold. Oh, that's beautiful. And just this pine cone is just so stunning. That is one melt, one day of melt. That's crazy. I just can't believe all this wax. Okay, I've got to, I'm already like 10 minutes in. I'm sorry. 
Okay, this one also is huge. Okay, this next one is called Deck the Halls. Santa's Tree Farm and Sugar Cookie. Look, look at this note. For one day. It's almost like a Christmas tree wedding cake kind of a shape. It's huge. Oh, wow. Okay. So it's a tree scent, but this is not a straight up tree scent. It also says it has sugar cookie in it. I can't smell, say I'm smelling straight up sugar cookie, sugar cookie. This almost smells like, it says tree farm. And I'm guessing that tree farm mm, has like, there's woods and smoke in it too. It's like you're outdoor at a tree farm. Wow. I'm not smelling sugar cookie. Just being honest. But this smells like a legit outdoor winter. You're getting your Christmas tree and you're smelling the wood of the tree. You're smelling the tree and someone has like a fire going on. Like an embery fire. It's a very realistic scent. Yeah. And once again, that's huge. I'm so excited to melt these. Okay. Let me get a new shape here. This one's also huge. Oh, my hip. Oh. Okay, this next one is called Bobsled. Okay, this is the one that when I opened the box, I smelt this. And then when I saw the notes, I squealed a little bit. And you'll know why if you know me in the sense I like. So this is called Bobsled. Spearmint, buttermint, vanilla lace, or vanilla ice cream. I'm so sorry. <laughs> and Swedish dream salt. Mm, look how pretty this is. Oh my gosh. So the mint in this, to me, so it's it's a spearmint and butter mints are the mints that are involved. But to me, those two mints in here mixed together come across almost as like a mint tea, like a mint tea bag that's been brewed. And cold winter air. Oh, that Swedish dream salt makes it almost smell like ice. And then vanilla ice cream. This is not sweet, though. This is like a. Oh, goodness. Um. I can almost taste that mint. Y'all know I like that. This smells like outdoor cold air. Mmm. But it's it's not sweet. It's it's very much just cold air. It's minty, but in a very natural way. Oh, that's really cool. Very unique. I haven't smelled anything like that before. Very nice. So yeah, that that is the one I smell outside the like when I, when I opened the box. Okay, this next one is a really cute little gingerbread man, and this is called Sugar Plum Fairy. This is pomegranate, lemon curd, and tea cakes. Oh my gosh. Look how cute he is. So cute. Oh, okay. Wow. Oh. <laughs> you could melt this all year round, but wow. Okay, I'm trying to decide what hits my nose first. Lemon curd and tea and cakes are equal. How have I never blended those two together before? But there's pomegranate for sure. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Mmm. Tea and cakes is so mouthwatering. Okay. So it's definitely like a lemon curd tea and cakes with a touch of pomegranate. That is so good. And that is going to be really strong, it smells like. Okay. Yeah. So sugar plum fairy. That <laughs> matches the description for sure. That's beautiful. I. That's just that's just beautiful. That's really pretty. I think though that like I said, it doesn't necessarily evoke holiday for me, but I could melt that all year round. But I find often that scents during the holidays that are called sugar plum fairy, or plum fairy or anything like that, um, from retail or vendor to my nose always smell like something that I can melt year round. Um, so. I don't, I don't have a specific thing in my mind that brings to mind anything that smells like sugar plums. Cause that's not a scent I grew up with, um, being related to Christmas, if that makes sense. So to me, that could absolutely be melted all year round. Okay. This next one is another gingerbread man. And this one's called cookies for Santa snickerdoodle, cinnamon, sugar, donut, funnel cake, and zucchini bread. He's so cute. Ooh, okay. I'm first getting cinnamon sugar donut. 
then snickerdoodle funnel cake, then zucchini bread. So if you don't like zucchini, don't be afraid of this because I feel like that's definitely in the background. This smells like a cinnamon sugar donut melt. I can taste the cinnamon in my mouth just smelling that. But I definitely smell like snickerdoodle and funnel cake because I smell a touch of like that fried dough. It's a bakery for sure. Mm. So yeah, very, this is very strong. Um, very cinnamon sugar bakery. Yeah. Not too much zucchini bread, which I love zucchini bread, but I know a lot of people out there in the vendor wax world are scared of zucchini bread for some reason. I don't know why, but they are. Oh, that smells really good. Okay. Another little ornament. This one is called Twas the Night. Pomegranate cupcakes at Tiffany's and birthday cake. Mmm. Mmm. I would never have thought to put pomegranate with cupcakes at Tiffany's. Yeah, it smells like a... It smells like a really festive. So this actually, it's so funny with those notes. It really evokes holiday though. Pomegranate. Because it smells like somebody has made like cupcakes with actually white cake because of that birthday cake. Usually though cupcakes at Tiffany smells more like a chocolate cupcake. But because of that birthday cake note, it smells like a yellow cake with like fruit on top because of the pomegranate. So it almost, mmm. It smells like a holiday baked good, but not a traditional one. Like a fancy one. Mmm. <laughs> very just unique, but it's absolutely bringing holiday memories for some reason. Look how beautiful that ornament is. I love this mold. What a unique melt. That is really good, though. That pomegranate is um, hitting the spot for those. Um, holiday melts. Sorry, I think I had a piece of wax on my hand, my lip. Okay, let's do another one of these um, smaller little melts. Um, this one's called Pear Tree. Pear Glacé, and that's, I'm guessing that is the Victoria's Secret type. Apple Sage and Prosecco, I never say that right, Prosecco Blush. And I'm just going to hold this up so you can see all the shapes. Look at that little wreath. Um, a different style tree than the last one. The two gifts and the Christmas light bulb. Oh, what in the, let's see. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So this one is not gourmand. And even though it has that Prosecco in it, it does not smell drinkable either. It's almost more body care-ish. I know, and I know Pear Glacé is a body care. The apple sage makes it fresher. This is a fresh. Hmm. This is a fresh greenery fruity scent that smells festive. <laughs> this is interesting. It's definitely, it's like a holiday body care with greenery. I'd melt this though for sure. That is very unique. I've never smelled anything like that before. I like that. Um, this would be just like great in a bathroom during the holidays almost because it is like awakening, enlivening. And it smells holiday without being like Christmas tree or cinnamon or anything like that. But it definitely smells like hustle and bustle of holiday body care. <laughs> if that makes, I hope that helps at all. Okay. This next smell is gorgeous. This is called Snowfall. Twilight Showers Lavender and Lemon Curd. Of course, I'm going to love this one. I have not smelled this one yet, but look at this. Look at this freaking snowflake. Oh, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. This is my favorite so far, I think. Wow. Okay, Snowfall. I don't know what Twilight Showers is, but I definitely get Lemon Curd. The lavender in here is a very clean lavender, but it's not super strong. Like I, I, if I didn't know lavender was in there, I probably wouldn't pick out that it was lavender. Twilight showers has to be something very clean. 
and fresh. This smells like, I don't want to say lemon curd soap because it doesn't smell soapy. It's like the freshest cold air mixed with lemon curd. And le lavender lends to that idea. Mmm. This is... Wow. And that's going to be strong. <laughs> um, if you are a lemon curd or fresh, fresh lemon fan, you are going to love this. This is for a freshie <laughs> like me. Oh my gosh. And I, I've told you guys that more recently I have fallen in love with lemon curd. So this is just wowzers. Um, I do think you could melt that all year long though, but it does smell like cold air. Mmm, that is good. That is really good. I like that. Okay, I'm going to do that one. Oh, no. Oh, I hope I... I'll have to go through. I kind of scooted these around. I'm sorry. Okay. This one... Oh, my goodness. I swear they just, like, made these scents and things that I liked. Okay, you freshies, masculines, you listen here. This one is called Lord's A-Leaping. Shave in a haircut and rosemary mint. Okay, hold on. This is my favorite one. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is 75% rosemary and mint. Oh my freaking goodness. I feel like I'm holding gold of how, like, how big this is and how this smells. Whoa. I need to go see if they have this one separately. Wow. Okay. Have any of you out there that like fresh, clean, masculine, anything, have you tried shaving a haircut? I have separately. I've, I've melted it solo about eight ounces of it. Exactly. <laughs> and it is like the freshest, cleanest man out of the shower. It's to me, it's like the least masculine, fresh, clean man oil there is. To me, it's not super masculine. To me, it's much more fresh than anything. Oh my gosh. You have stolen my heart with this. Oh my gosh. I could freaking huff this all day. I'm going to hoard it. Um, and then 75% rosemary mint. So it's like fresh, clean man and rosemary mint. Wowzers. Lords of leaping. That is a freaking cute name for that. Oh my goodness. Let me just, I, let me just double check here which ones I've done. Okay. I did that one. That one. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. I only have one left. Okay. So this is the very last one and this is just her peppermint, just peppermint. And it's in this really cute red ornament. Oh, wow. Okay. How pretty is that? So this peppermint... I almost wanted to say it wasn't the nose clearing peppermint, but it almost is. Is this a blend of peppermint? Because I get the sweet peppermint in here, but then as I leave, as I move my nose away, I get the nose clearing peppermint almost because there's, there are very different types of peppermint. Mm. Once again, I can taste it. It's a good thing to me. Oh my goodness. Okay. So I think it leans more towards sweet peppermint, but sweet peppermint is more associated with Christmas than that really fresh nose clearing peppermint is. So this smells like Christmas peppermint. I could be wrong that this is, I could be wrong that this is a single oil, but it smells like a peppermint blend to me. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. It's not quite candy cane, but it's almost candy cane. Like it's, it's almost like crushed candy cane with a touch of the nose clearing peppermint in it. So that makes me like it even more. Oh, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Okay. <laughs> this, this is like no other, um, so Christmas like haul that I've gotten so far. These are all very unique. I mean, the peppermint, but it's is a unique peppermint. None of these other 
lens, let me, I'm just kind of peeking over them. Besides, I guess the Christmas tree one are something that any other vendor has done. Everything else is very just different and unique. Um, this is exciting. Once again, like I said, they still have these available and they are on sale for the next 24 hours, 10% off for $31.50. Did you see how big those pieces of wax were? That's crazy. Um, I mean, you could do, I could do all the warmers in my house with the bigger melts there. Um, so I am really excited to melt through these. And once again, um, my IG page is at Danny Loves Wax. D-A-N-I Loves Wax all together. And I will be melting these um, separately. And I will be posting throws and feelings about each one. I will post the website um, of the pharmacist's daughter on here. Their vibe, once again, is so freaking cute. I just love, I don't know if one of the owners, if um, Cam or Ainsley did this themselves, but this is just so darling. I love that kind of aesthetic. Very, very cute. I'm going to put this card up here one more time. And once again, I have it linked on my Instagram page. I just want to tell Kim and Ainsley, thank you so much for giving me this opportunity. Um, if anyone has watched any of my videos or read my IG posts, I am very honest with what I think. I will never say that I love something if I don't love something because it just can't come out of my mouth <laughs> if it's not true. That's just how I am. So um, go check them out, you guys. I was kind of scrolling through. There's so many soaps to choose from. That was the first thing that like hit my eyes. Well, there were so many soaps in so many different scents and so many different colors to choose from. So go take a look at their Etsy shop and or their website. Um, they have a really interesting, um, you know, idea and reason for why they've done this. And they know that they work. They know that these products work. And I think that that's awesome. So anyways, I'm going to bed so I can go back to the hospital tomorrow. <laughs> um, thank you for listening to me and stay safe. Wear your mask.